Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is 49 over x square is equal to x square over 49. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, solution. From this, our problem here, 49. 49 is same as into square, 49 is same as 7 square, then over this x square is equal to this x square over 49 into square, it is 7 square. Then in the next step, we'll cross multiply. So it will be 7 square times 7 square. So here 7 square times 7 square is equal to x square times x square. So here x square times x square. Then here 7 square times 7 square is 7 square bracket square is equal to x square times x square. It is x square square bracket square then in the next step we'll take this x square bracket square into the left side so it will be this which is 7 square bracket square this to take to this side will be minus x square bracket square is equal to 0 then from here in the left side is now in the form of difference of two squares so we'll apply the rule of difference of two square rule which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket times bracket a minus b bracket so when we compare a square with seven square bracket square then a is equal to seven square this inside the bracket minus minus when we compare b square with x square bracket square then b is equal to this x square then from here from this rule this rule here will apply this form so it will be a plus b it will be 7 square plus x square so here 7 square plus x square bracket then times a minus b it will be 7 square minus x square so here bracket 7 square minus x square bracket is equal to this 0 then from here we have two solutions or two cases so this is first case of 7 square plus x square is equal to 0 and we have this case here of 7 square minus x square is equal to 0. Then from this here, we'll take this 7 square into the right side. So it will be this, which is x square is equal to this 7 square. Take this side to be minus 7 square. Then from here, we'll apply square root in both sides. So it will be x square into here we apply square root is equal to minus 7 square also into here we apply square root then this square root will cancel square so it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 7 square it will be 7 square times negative it will be times negative 1 then in the next step it will be x is equal to plus or minus here we separate this so it will be square root of 7 square times square root of this negative 1 so it will be x is equal to plus or minus here this square root will cancel square so it will be 7 then square root of negative 1 it is i so from here we have two values of x which are complex then to solve from this second case here this part here is in the form of difference of two squares 
so we'll apply this form here then it will be 7 plus x so 7 plus x bracket then bracket 7 minus x bracket is equal to this 0 then here we have two cases where this first case of 7 plus x is equal to 0 and we have this case here of 7 minus x is equal to 0 then here we we'll take 7 to this side so it will be x is equal to negative 7 and into here we will take negative x to this side so it will be 7 is equal to x so here x is equal to 7 so into here we have this solution and this solution therefore the first value of x so our conclusion here it will be first value of x is equal to this real solution which is 7 the second value of x is equal to this here real solution negative 7 the third value of x is equal to here complex solution when it is positive it will be 7 i the fourth value of x is equal to here when it is negative it will be minus 7 i so these are all the values of x in this our problem whereas we have two real solution two complex solutions now let's solve this math problem which is 25 over x square is equal to x square over 25 to find the values of x from this equation here now solution to solve this problem i have another method different from the first solution from the first problem now let's write a problem which is 25 over x square is equal to x square over 25 now into here we'll cross multiply so it will be 25 times 25 it is 25 square is equal to x square times x square it is x square bracket square then in the next step we just we interchange this to take to this side this to take to this side so it will be x square bracket square is equal to this 25 square then from here we'll apply square root in both sides so here we apply square root and into this side we apply square root so this square root will cancel square then it will be x square is equal to plus or minus square root of this here 25 square so this square root here will cancel square then it will be x square is equal to plus or minus 25 then from here we have two solutions because of this plus or minus so we have the first solution of x square is equal to when it is positive it is equal to 25 and the second solution when it is negative it will be x square is equal to negative 25 then from here we will apply square root in both sides so it will be x square is equal to 25 so here we apply square root and to this side we apply square root so this square to cancel square then it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 it is 5 so into here we have two solutions and to solve from here we apply square root in both sides so it will be x square we apply square root is equal to also into this side it will be square root of negative 25 so this square root will cancel square then it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 25 it will be 25 times negative 1 here bracket so it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 it is 5 
square root of negative 1 it is i so also from here we have two solutions therefore our conclusion the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it is 5 the second value of x is equal to when it is negative it is negative 5 the third value of x is equal to here when it is positive is 5i the fourth value of x is equal to when it is negative is negative 5i so here we have four values of x into this our problem now this is the choose which is the simplest method because be between this method and the first method by different problems Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.